Decades of excavations in ancient burial pits in the Iberian Peninsula, modern-day Spain and Portugal, have unearthed more than 4,000 palm-sized slate owl plaques engraved with geometric images of owls. It has long been believed that these 5,000-year-old objects were created for religious or ceremonial rituals, presumably by an owl-worshipping culture. But in a remarkable twist, a team of Spanish scientists have now concluded these iconic amulets were actually made by children as craft projects. Victor Diaz Nunez de Arenas, the study co-author and researcher at the Complutense University of Madrid's Department of Art History, said the engraving's informal appearance made the team doubt they were exclusively ritual objects. Plus, many of them were found in homes and other archaeological sites that did not have a clearly ritual context. To test the idea that they were instead toys, the research team examined 100 of the slate plaques, documenting which particular owl traits were featured in the engraving feathery tufts, patterned feathers, a flat facial disc, a beak and wings. The researchers then compared them with 100 images of owls drawn earlier this year by children ages 4 to 13 at an elementary school in southwestern Spain. The students were asked by their teacher to sketch an owl in less than 20 minutes, with no further instructions. The similarity of these plaques with the drawings made by children of our days is very remarkable, Diaz Nunez de Arenas said via email. One of the things that they revealed to us about the children of that time is that their vision of what an owl is, is, very similar, if not identical, to what children of today have. It's impossible to know exactly how prehistoric children would have played with the owls, he said, but many of the slates have perforations that could have allowed kids to insert real feathers at the top, Diaz Nunez de Arenas said. In addition to play, engraving the owls could have helped children learn a valuable prehistoric skill. The engraving of these plaques provided the youngest with an activity with which to learn the handling of the different techniques of carving and engraving of the stone, essential for the realization of other objects, such as knives or points of arrow used for functional tasks of daily life. It could even be a way to detect and select the most skilled members of the community for stone carving, he said. Diaz Nunez de Arenas said the slate owls could have also played a ritual role, perhaps allowing children to participate in community ceremonies such as burials, offering their toys or dolls as a tribute to deceased loved ones.